Welcome to a special live broadcast to mark World Environment Day 2022. I'm Selena Abraha. Thanks for joining us on this tour as we travel around the globe and see how World Environment Day is being celebrated by communities across our planet. From an electric motorcycle expedition along the Nile Delta, to a massive cyclothon in Mumbai, and to an e-waste drive in Romania, we are gonna meet some amazing people who are acting for our only one Earth. You can also head to the World Environment Day website to check out the many ways that people are celebrating, protecting, and restoring our planet. Be sure to get inspired by the Only One Earth Practical Guide for some clever ideas on the types of actions that we can all take. Then make sure to go to action.worldenvironmentday.global to put your Earth Action numbers on our world map and receive an individualized social media card. Be sure to share these with all of your followers using the hashtag OnlyOneEarth and hashtag World Environment Day. The 1,500 volunteers we've had come to help transform these eight acres back into a functioning agricultural land. 8,357 trees planted so far. Only one earth. 1,380 technical solutions to protect the environment in an economically profitable way. Millions of corporations who can use them, and they must because there is only one Earth. We kick off the global tour in Stockholm, Sweden, where the executive director of the UN Environment Program, Inger Andersson, is meeting with world leaders and activists to officially mark World Environment Day. So we are here in Sweden for World Environment Day, hosted by Sweden. This day is important. 50 years ago, UNEP was founded, and now we must tackle the triple planetary crisis, the crisis of climate change, of biodiversity loss, and of pollution and waste. That is why all over the world today, on the 5th of June, we are pushing for change. We are pushing for international solidarity. We are pushing to make sure we have a sustainable planet because we have only one Earth. Inga Andersson, UNEP's executive director, highlighting the importance of global solidarity and action to protect and restore our planet. Now don't forget that you can share your Earth action number by using the hashtag OnlyOneEarth. JAMA has just shared theirs. Zero single-use plastic in our office, 427 employees, only one Earth. What a great achievement. Don't forget that every Earth action counts. We have enabled more than 32,000 people to be able to tell amazing, unbiased stories on environment, climate change, sustainability. We're conserving over 15 million acres of land and over 30 million acres of ocean. Only one Earth! $3.5 billion in weatherization and climate change resiliency. Tens of thousands of inspirational booklets about how you can eat plant-based for the climate. 280,000 electric vehicles on our roads. Thousands of tons of food were saved from going to the landfills. For hashtag only one earth. Cars, planes, and automobiles. So many of us are using them now that nearly a quarter of our global energy related carbon emissions come from the transport sector. To raise awareness of a cleaner and healthier way to commute through the city, the Bamla Foundation is holding a mass bicycle ride, or cyclothon, through the busy streets of Mumbai, India. Sahar Bamla joins us now from Mumbai. Welcome! Can you please tell us more about your event? How's it going? Hello, firstly I'd like to wish everyone a happy World Environment Day. I'm afraid to say that it is not a day to celebrate, it is a day of action and I would like to emphasize on every viewer watching this that Celebrate every day like it's your World Environment Day and make your life, uh, make conscious lifestyle changes in your life. So uh, I have basically planned, I have basically planned a green ride cyclothon to begin with our World Environment Day events because I believe that a bicycle is a powerful symbol of sustainability and honestly, it's actually one of the first outdoor activities we have learned as children and it's heartbreaking to see that in India, not a lot of people are pro cycling. They are very fast centric. And even if it's a short distance, 
I mean, a lot of people, even we, we like to just take the car, and I think there must be a shift in this behavior. Uh, because honestly, if you cycle shorter, shorter, because because honestly, if you cycle, it will help reduce carbon footprint, greenhouse gases, air pollution, noise pollution on an individual level. So yeah. How big of a problem is transportation-related pollution in Mumbai? So air pollution from honestly, air pollution from the transport sector in Mumbai, the capital of Maharashtra, has nearly doubled in the past five years, and it is now the biggest contributor to the city's already deteriorating air quality. Can you tell us how many people participated in the event today? So we had, so it's not only this event, it's not only the Green Ride Cyclothon that's happening. It, we have an entire day of activities planned. We have um, a mega, mega event that is happening. We have free plantation drives, beach cleanups in the same vicinity. As you can see, I mean, if I, I, I wish I could show you that we're just so close to the beach. We just have to walk through it and we clean the beach. So we had 500, uh, we had 500 participants in the Green Ride Cyclothon. And yeah, so that's a lot of people. And um, That's incredible. To round this off, can you tell us what are your Earth Action numbers? So my earth action numbers are 500 cyclists gathering in Mumbai, 200 fewer vehicles on our streets, and only one earth. Incredible. Thank you so much, Sahir, for joining us. Happy World Environment Day. Thank you so much. Sahir Bamla from the Bamla Foundation, rethinking our use of motor vehicles from India. Coming up, we're going to head to Australia to find out how a virtual game of survival is being used to inspire sustainable living. And remember, you too can act for our global community. Let us know how by going to action.worldenvironmentday.global to add your Earth Action number onto the world map and get your own personalized social media cards. Let's see what's happening on Twitter. Eurofresh has just posted their own Earth Action number, which also focuses on pedal power. 1,000 bicycle wheels, 500 college students using sustainable transport. Great work. Let's drive less and bike more. 900 kilograms of 86 seed species. More than 40,000 trees planted. Only one earth. Two thousand fruit trees and food trees planted. Over 50 communities impacted. Only one Earth. Over 177,000 kilograms of plastic waste collected and recovered. Over 25,000 volunteers of all ages. Only one Earth. From India, we travel to Australia and dive into the virtual world. The rise in popularity of virtual spaces and online gaming means that many people are spending more time online than they do in the natural world. While some of us may fear that the virtual world could lead to greater disconnect with the natural world, others are seeing it as an opportunity to engage the next generation in conservation and sustainable living. One of these people is Bethany Rezik, an environmental education officer in the small regional town of Queen Bean in Australia. She is using Minecraft, the popular virtual game of survival, as a tool for sustainability. Thank you so much for being here. Can you tell us about why you're using Minecraft to engage young people on sustainable design? Uh, well, we really needed to, especially during and after COVID, uh, find a way to re-engage with the community on environmental education topics. And we found that Minecraft was a great way to, to engage young minds and, and do something really positive um, that brings out some key themes for the, for the community. Love to see how you fully embraced that and really engaged young people in the space that they're most excited about. Um, can you tell me, you know, on your side, what, what reflection do you have coming out of this? How is this changing how you're thinking about environmental education moving forward? Uh, for us, it's a case of, of making it accessible and some of the, the responses that we received and uh, especially the, the enthusiasm in the voices as they were able to take their time and to make these creations at home and send them to us. Um, you can really tell that they were, were engaged and connected with, with the major themes of sustainability as a whole. Yes, so I saw your submission. You had a pretty incredible layout. Can you tell us a little bit more about your idea and how you made this come together in Minecraft? 
Well, I was thinking that um, sustainability could also be a lot with parks and what better to make it all colourful so it could be like old reused plastic and things. Repurposed wood is something that was used a lot. So repurposing the wood instead of just burning it and putting out pollution. Yeah, I love the touch that you put to, you know, make sure that people have fun while they're also in a sustainable environment. So it seems that you've learned a lot. Can you tell us, you know, how are you bringing these skills into the real world? What hopes do you have there? Well, putting like recycling things and making things sustainably, not just buying re you right, buying um, new resources when it can be reused. Thank you so much, Cameron. I can't wait to see how you bring all of this to life in the real world. Yep. Thank you. What an incredible Earth action, using the virtual world to encourage sustainable living here in the real world. For more information on transformative actions that individuals and organizations are taking to restore our planet, be sure to read and share the hashtag Only One Earth Practical Guide. You can get this and so much more in many languages at our website. 358 million tons of CO2 saved and avoided, 35 million people with access to green, safe and reliable electricity. Only one Earth. Seventy thousand liters of biodegradable cleaning products. Removing one hundred and forty thousand liters of conventional cleaners from our waterways. Only one app. Five hundred and eighty-one megatons of CO two avoided. Nine million people with access to clean, affordable energy. Only one Earth. A thousand kilos of recycled materials turned into sustainable fashion. 500 kilos of regenerative fibers, Woo. only one earth. Four million insects upcycled into animal feed and organic fertilizer. 60,000 kilograms of organic waste diverted from landfill. Only one earth. We have removed 2,500 tons of waste from the environment. Over 5,000 Japanese entities across the world working to eliminate carbon dioxide emissions and greenhouse gases. 10,000 mangroves planted in the Dominican Republic. Only one us. Only one Earth. Only one Earth. They are Grammy Award nominated singer songwriters, environmental activists, and they're both named Julian. Julian Lennon and Julian Marley have been promoting the environment through the power of music for over 20 years. And now they've teamed up to amplify their message of conservation at the Concert for Climate in Stockholm, Sweden. We caught up with them before they took the stage last night and began by asking what only one earth means to them. Without Mother Nature, we are nothing. So one earth and we are all here as one people, you know? So it's our duty to take care of our planet because we don't have another one. <laughs> Well, the climate concert, you know, is basically us coming together in a performance, in a musical way, to bring awareness about our planet, about, you know, the trees, you know, the nature. You know, everywhere we go, we see buildings. They cut down the trees, they build up buildings. But the buildings do not give off anything. We don't get nothing from it. So we need to know what we are doing. We need to save our trees, because without the trees, the climate gets worse. And the more it goes down is the more we run out of oxygen. We're so ingenious, we can work on the moon. It's great looking around out in space for what's possible out there. And who knows? But don't give up on planet Earth. I mean, this is, you know, if you have, if you have children, you know, uh, and beyond, I mean, just, just think about what you're doing. Really think about what you're doing every day. It's time for change. It really is before it's too late. Let's get together and feel alright. Everyone, unity, one love. Our message, you know, 
for instance, a Rastaman message is always loving the nature, loving God, loving the people. So, so to really, you know, being this topic is something that is so, so close to our heart. Let them tell you what you can and cannot do. Don't ever Fortunately, a lot of people are standing up now. A lot of people are being heard. You know, a lot of uh, events and shows like this are really starting to happen all over the world. Um, and these are not fads. These are real things with real people trying to make real change for the better. Right around the world, America, Europe, and no matter where you are, we are feeling this this stigma, this situation happening of the earth getting worse and worse. The earth, the sea, everything is getting, you know, bad, you know, so we need to make it get good. Hi, this is Julian Lennon. Turn promises into action on World Environment Day. We only have one earth. Julian Lennon and Julian Marley from Stockholm sharing their Earth Action Numbers. And don't forget, you can get involved too by sharing your Earth Action Numbers with the hashtag OnlyOneEarth and World Environment Day. Just like Nature Space, who's just shared their own Earth Action Number. 300,000 acres of farmland, 5 million native seeds to regenerate the soil. Isn't that an inspirational way to restore our planet? Well done. Coming up, we head to Cairo for an electrical vehicle tour down the River Nile and then to Romania to check in on a large e-waste collection drive. We have only one Earth. Let's take care of it. Show us your impact by counting your action at action.worldenvironmentday.global. $58 million invested in climate solutions globally. 26 investees working towards a sustainable future. Only one Earth. Two hundred and thirty-two thousand and fifty-eight tons of carbon emission reduced. Four thousand three hundred ninety-six hectares of forest land saved. Only one. Electric motorbikes are one way that we can move to a lower carbon emission society. As many countries today rely on the use of motorbikes to move their population, e-bikes offer a cleaner alternative to petrol-powered motors. Ali Abdo holds two Guinness World Records for the longest distance ever traveled in an electric vehicle. And he's touring his e-bike along the River Nile from Cairo to Aswan in Egypt to raise awareness of e-motorcycles and to educate communities along the Nile Delta about the effects of climate change. We're lucky because Ali is joining us now from Damietta. Welcome. Can you tell us what is the ultimate goal of the journey that you've been taking? I actually have a number of goals that I'm trying to achieve through this activity this environment. The main important point for me is to raise the awareness for serious about environmental challenges and the climate change. I'm trying to tell them that we are facing the real issues and I'm trying to inspire them to act to fix this issue. In your view, can you say, you know, what is the role of electric motorcycles in reducing transportation related emissions? Uh, Actually, you know, the electric vehicle is considered one of the solutions for the climate change to reduce the emissions. And for my, for me, on my case, I'm using this motorcycle as an attraction method to the kids and the students. Everyone loves motor sports. In my country, nearly all over the world, so I'm using the motorcycle as an attraction method to them, to get them interactive with my activities and to tell them and educate them about environmental change. That's incredible. Also, I use, I, 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 use, I use this motorbike to, 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 to record the Guinness record on it uh, last September. Yeah, it is incredible to see that you've been breaking records and also changing people's hearts and minds as it relates to sustainability. Can you tell us what are the impacts of climate change and the climate crisis on the Nile River Delta? Okay, actually, the Nile Delta is one uh, of the most vulnerable areas for the climate change in Africa. We lost a lot of land here, a lot of uh, uh, agriculture areas is affected and lost due to the climate change. We are trying to reduce this impact and helping the people to adapt to these changes 
to multiple solutions and at least we are trying to help them to reduce their emissions from many things uh, or usual things in their lifestyle. It's been incredible to see what you've been able to accomplish. Can you tell us what are your Earth Action numbers? Uh, actually, my number is uh, over 5,000 kilometers on this electric motor cycle. I made over 300 kids to raise their awareness about environmental change as it is only one Earth. That's incredible. Thank you so much for joining. Say hi to the kids for us. It's been wonderful talking uh, to you. Ben. Just a second. Let, let's, let's ask them to say hi, okay? Say hi! <laughs> That's wonderful. Thank you. Happy World Environment Day. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Ali Abdo on tour with his e-bike along the River Nile from Cairo to Aswan in Egypt. And he's raising awareness on the effects of climate change along the Nile Delta. Don't forget that you can get involved by putting your Earth Action number on our world map. So go to action dot world environment day dot global and get your personalized social media cards be sure to share them with us using the hashtag only one earth and hashtag world environment day a twitter user by the name of fong has just shared their action 1235 kilowatt hours of solar energy 10 electric buses in our city hashtag only one earth hashtag world environment day now, coming up, we're going to head to Romania to find out how old electric appliances are being saved from the landfill. One solar-powered maternal and child health center on the Pakistan of Pakistan border. 325 babies safely delivered with the help of renewable energy. Only one earth. One thousand five hundred fishers have collected more than three hundred thousand kilos of plastic from the ocean. Only one earth. Three million pounds of food to about ten to fifteen thousand households. Only one earth. Eighty thousand supporters who love to engage with environmental activism. Fifty eco raps. Only one earth. We're moving from e motorbikes to e waste. Every year, the world produces as much as 50 million tons of electronic and electrical waste. This is otherwise known as e-waste. And only 20% of this is formally recycled. E-waste in the landfill can contaminate soil and groundwater, putting our food supply systems and water sources at risk. So now we're gonna head to Romania, where a large e-waste collection is taking place. Ana Salomes from The Green Project joins us now from the Romanian town of Baia Mare. Welcome, thank you so much. Can you tell us why you are hosting an e-waste campaign in your town? Uh, I'm hosting this, hello, first of all, from Romania. Uh, we are doing uh, the campaign uh, in two major cities in our region, in our in Romania. Because, why? Because uh, I think it's important for for our uh, nation, for our city, for our community to uh, understand that e-waste e is not a, a waste. It, it not, uh, it's not supposed to go to waste, but to be valued, to be uh, to going to recycle. In this way, um, we can um, uh, recover the raw materials. We can reintroduce them in the circle uh, economy. And uh, we can assure uh, a safe future for our generation to come. That's so incredible. Um, can you tell us why e-waste? You know, how much of an issue do you feel this is for the environment? Uh, for us in Romania, it's a big issue. It's a huge one, I think. Uh, um, we have a deal, we have a bad habit as a, as a community to throw them in the nature and confuse them with other, mix them with other waste. And uh, imagine just the last month, our government uh, uh, approved a law that uh, incriminates the abandon of e-waste uh, in nature, just last month. So we need to, to make sure that uh, we mature fast enough about this issue and uh, change our mentality. So. Uh, we can do uh, uh, 
uh, this for the better of our community and the planet. Yes, of course. That's incredible. Can you tell me, you know, what do you hope will be the outcome of this campaign here? Uh, we hope uh, we are really be involving uh, two major city halls and the institutions uh, uh, that uh, are responsible of protecting the environment, uh, education uh, institutions, businesses, local businesses. But we, we hope we uh, are reaching more and more people with this campaign. That's incredible. Can you tell us what are your Earth Action numbers? Yeah, we are proudly to say that we are having seven collecting points around the city today. We're hoping to collect over 10 tons of e-waste. Only one Earth. Ana Salomes from the Green Project in Romania on an e-waste collection campaign to save hazardous waste from entering our landfills. And this brings us to the end of our global tour this World Environment Day 2022. It's been a pleasure to showcase the actions and commitments from all across the globe. I hope that you've been inspired to put your Earth Action number on the map. So head to our website now and download the hashtag OnlyOneEarth practical guide for resources and ideas to assist you and your community in taking transformative actions for our planet. Remember to share your actions with the world by going to action.worldenvironmentday.global because every action counts.